so I'm going to tie you uh, the shipman's buzzer, just knocking a few up for myself. The hook in the vise is a Camasan B100 in size 14. This is the light wire hook of the B110 that you'll have seen me tan with before. The thread I'm going to use is the Uni Thread 801 Red. Now, you can use any thread that you like and uh, any dubbing, colour of dubbing. I would recommend you do use seals fur, but you can use anything that you like. Now I'm just going to come down the bit of thread onto the hook and then just work my thread back up again where I'm going to catch in some para post in white for our uh, breathers. Right, just going to offer this up over the eye of the hook. Nice tight turns. And then just trying to keep the the spit of the power post on top of the hook and just work your your thread down. Just then you get to the bend of the hook. Now at this point the rib, you can use pearl tinsel, you can use opal mirage. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use some of the, the clear wrap. This is the uni mailer, or sorry, the uni clear. And the reason why I like to, uh, I like to have some of this pattern tied with uh, the clear wrap. Just working the thread back up at this point, and some tied with a, a mailer or a pearl as well bringing the thread back down. Now like I say the body can be anything you like in relation to colour shade. I've always used seals fur for this. The seals fur that I'm using is out of the dispenser box number two. This is in Claret. I was first introduced to this fly by my father-in-law on the the middle reservoir and people from or from Northern Ireland or County Antrim all know what I'm talking about which used to be an absolutely fantastic reservoir like most of the fisheries now in the public England estate in Northern Ireland they're completely ruined now, just gonna get another wee bit of the dubbing and when he, funny enough when he tied this pattern and faced it. He didn't use the, the poly yarn or the para post for the breathers. It was just a dubbed seals for a body and then a rib which nine times out of ten was a <laughs> a thick gold wire. Now just want to take the, the clear wrap and I don't know you're probably looking I think three to four turns of the, the clear wrap up the up the body. It's really up to you. I don't get too fussy with this fly. It's gonna work anyway. Just catch it in. Just fold back the just hold back your power post. A couple of turns in front. Now just to strengthen it. Just tie up over the top of the clear wrap. Then come in. Oh don't do that. Keep your thread tight. Then come in and throw on a whip finish and then trim away your, your tan thread and then you can come in and trim away your clear wrap now. Now some boys or anglers like to have this long at the front. I don't. I like it short right about there. Does me now to give the impression of the shock that's a bit different and I get a bit longer so there's two grooves in this face I'll show you if, see if you can see it there's two grooves in this face and that's how I take the measurement of my tails on most of the patterns that you'll see me tang it's usually just in the middle of those grooves now with this fly it's probably mandatory if you like give us a good heading with a bit of velcro bring out that seals fur and then what I like to do is just come in and work it back a bit 
with my finger and thumb. And I'll tell you, it's genuinely Dave Shipman come up with your cracker. Like it's a, one of the best patterns you can have in your box for reservoir fishing. So like I say guys, if you're even if you're using, if you have one of these, the genuine seals for a dispenser box, you can see the colour range that you get. Sorry for bringing it that close to the camera so much, it doesn't like it as far away. You'd have those tied in any of those colours, and I would suggest that the vast majority of them would work. So, we simple one, hopefully it's got something from that. Um, as always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's always greatly appreciate it and until next time stay safe enjoy your fishing and uh, I'll catch you on the next one